Hello, my lovelies. This is Jenny from Jenny's Fun Facts. We just want to take a moment to thank you so much, P Eats Meal Preps, for sponsoring our episodes. New menu out every Friday, order by Sunday, delivered fresh by Tuesday. And guess what? They deliver to all Montreal surrounding areas as well. Healthy, fresh, and delivered to your door for free. All meals are calorie counted, use no artificial flavors, and made same day with the freshest of produce. Each meal is personalized to your special dietary restrictions. How can you find them? Add them and our podcast on Instagram at p.eats underscore p as in Peter, R E P as in Peter, S. That's at p.eats underscore press. Make sure to include in their comments section that you watch our hashtag Noon Hour Out of the Box podcast episode 18 and receive a 20% welcome discount. Thanks, P. Eats Meal Preps. Hi, my name is Patty, and I believe in the law of attraction. We've been doing this our whole lives. Everything that we have, who we are, we have attracted that. We are energy, and energy vibrates. Depending on what you're thinking, what your beliefs are, that's what you will attract. So if you believe a certain things about yourself, that's what you will vibrate. So that's what you will get. If you start believing positive, you will attract more positive. What and who you want to be, what you want to have, if you believe in that, that's what you will start vibrating. And that's what you will attract. You're absolutely right, Patty. Stay tuned for another interesting show on the next episode of Noon Hour Out of the Box. Coming up. there and welcome to episode 18 of noon hour out of the box a big thank you to all our listeners we appreciate you being here a huge thank you to jenny dehame who makes all this happen and to my incredible co-host mr robert d'alessio how are you esther i am more than excited uh, for the same reason because working with you is such a pleasure and it's a whole lot of fun but today we're both excited and I'm having Absolutely. a hard time containing myself because we have a very special guest that's going to be coming on our show about Midway. We can't wait to introduce him to you, but in the meantime, we'll keep it a secret. Aha. And that's where we begin. Back in 2006, I was given a DVD by the name of The Secret, and that literally blew me away. It was um, produced by an Australian woman called Rand, Rhonda Byrne. And basically, it was, was with the notion of, and I will show you here, the law of attraction. Everything one wants or needs can be satisfied by believing in an outcome, repeatedly thinking about it, and maintaining positive emotional states to attract the desired outcome. So I know that you yourself have had some experience with the notion of law of attraction. Tell us about it. Well, you know, um, just to make a short story long over here, uh, everybody does it, okay? A lot of people do it unconsciously, but a lot of people do it consciously. So what I have been attracting to myself, first of all, is that um, when I was going to school, I wanted to go into the broadcast business. I wanted to go into television, radio, what have you, what we're doing right now. And uh, what I did is I just kept focusing and focusing on it. And the whole idea is, you know, I'm sharing my experience here with everybody. And this is what I think everybody should be doing. And our guest is going to reiterate and add to this is that you have to be focusing on exactly what it is that you want, no matter how big it is, no matter how impossible it seems, you got to keep focusing on what you want. Because the moment you start going into the mechanics saying, you know what, I want, um, 
I want to be in a big Hollywood production. I want to be a supporting role. I want to do this. I want to do that. How in God's name is that going to happen? I don't even have any training, whatever. You got to stop thinking about the mechanical aspect of how you're going to get what you want. Just desire what you want and it's going to come to you. Things are going to happen on their own. So that was the basis of the film, The Secret. So I'm going to play a little snippet from the 2009 version of the trailer so that you can get an idea how the idea was first brought to popular culture of today. Throughout history, all the great minds, all the great leaders, all the great achievers, there's something in common. Now the great glimmering of truth can be revealed again. You know this secret gives you everything you want. Happiness, health, and wealth. You can have, do, or be anything. Wow. So that was our introduction to the whole idea of the secret. And of course, the marketing of it was absolutely brilliant because everybody wants to know what the secret is. And that's where the idea of law of attraction was brought in. But it was not the first time that that idea was put out there. It's actually originally from the New Thought Movement that was in the early um, 1900s that put out books. There were magazine publications. And so the producer, Rhonda Burns, basically read all this material and sort of repurposed it and put it out there. Well, uh, you see, Esther, when I watched uh, The Secret for the first time, somehow I knew I was doing all this. And I started watching this movie and I'm telling myself, oh, my God, I do that. I do that. I do that. I do that. And I go, hey, this is pretty cool. So when I actually went into it, I delved into it and I started getting more and more into it. I go, oh, my God, this is just totally amazing. And so just it just goes to say that Many of us are kind of aware and unaware that we're doing it. But when we actually get to see a movie like this and talk to interesting people, like the guests we have coming up, I just can't wait to bring them on. You can actually realize that this is something that we all are doing either subconsciously or consciously. Yeah. And there's that controversy. Okay. Is it, are you putting out the positivity? Is it a vibration, so to speak, or is it that we just desire it so much that maybe we are just like putting out the hustle that we're just putting ourselves out there. So, you know, there's no empirical evidence that in fact, this, you know, actually works from a scientific perspective. So there, there's that school of thought as well. Like, oh, well, you're, well, you're just putting, putting it out there in terms that you're hustling more, you're networking more, you're, you're, you're making sure that that happens because you want it to happen so badly. So, you know, it's, it, it's controversial in that sense. I myself am a personal believer. I've experienced it. Uh, when I got separated, um, I very much wanted to find love again. And it, it came fairly quickly. Um, the gentleman that I'm with now, he had a dream um, to build a home years prior. Uh, he had the, um, you know, all the illustrations of what he planned to build. And he, when he came into my home, it was almost identical to the home that he had planned to build. So there, you know, right there, how could you explain that? There's something to be said about the fact that this is what he always wanted. Then he meets a woman who has a home that's almost identical to the initial plans that he had prepared. We have a very interesting guest uh, that tuned in today, Patricia Chica. Hello, Patricia. Yes, Thank hey, you Patricia. For tuning in. And uh, it, we don't have much time, but uh, for those of you who know Patricia or those of you who don't know her, it's a good thing to get to know her. Go on to Bobby Short Shorts, click on the Rob's Inner Circle. We have a full show that we did with Patricia. She's an absolutely interesting person. She's a fantastic film producer. There's so much that we can talk about. We can talk about her all day over here. Unfortunately, we have no time. 
But all that to say is that you and I have got our frequencies together because we attracted the guests that we have on our show that I'm about to introduce right now. Yes, absolutely. We have, and I'm so, so very excited. Well, you know what? You know, I can't wait to bring him back on. And I think the wait is over, Esther. <laughs> I think so, too. So let's bring on Mr. Andrew B. Andrew B., hello. You were on hey. Rob's Inner Circle Hi, on Monday evening, and you're back with us again. For those of you who don't know who Andrew B. is, Andrew B. is a Canadian actor, and uh, his latest film <laughs> is an As effort. For his cap. An effort with um, the Canadian producer Kyle Dunbar. They did a readaptation of the short story of Stephen King called Mute. Andrew, welcome to Noon Hour Out of the Box. Thanks, Robert. It's good to be here again. <laughs> Esther. So, yeah, yes. go ahead. So, Andrew, you are a believer in the law of attraction. Tell us about that. Well, I grew up in, in an enormous amount of trauma. And okay. I did not go to sleep like happens to so many. For some reason, I stayed awake. So I tried to figure out why I was not ever getting what I wanted in my life. That was the fundamental thing that has driven every decision I've ever made in my life. Why am I not getting what I want? What is wrong with me? Hmm. And I've spent my life healing that and studying and educating and I finally, 2010, 2011, and I, trust me when I tell you, I've read every book known to man, basically, is when I understood that there's really two things that drive us in our lives, and that's fear and desire. And when I discovered, I, I studied the law of attraction, and I really understood, wait, I've done this my whole life. I just didn't know what I was doing consciously. And I adapted what I learned from that to how I already lived and understood, look, as long as I have any fear in me, I will never truly get what I want. So what I work on is my fear. Interesting. So you believe that the fear, in fact, brings on negativity and therefore it attracts negative events in your life? Fear stops everything. It's okay. just disguised in many other emotions. Most people don't even know that they don't know. The Matrix, they're asleep and they don't know it. Right. <laughs> and it just comes down to, are you getting what you want in your life? Period. If you're not, how badly do you want to change what has to be changed? And for me, that's been my life's work. So, Andrew, uh, tell me, as someone who, uh, again, you're saying about fear, someone who's fearful and doesn't dare to, uh, you know, to, I don't know, call it wish for or desire, whatever you want to call it, someone who's fearful and doesn't have that drive to do it, how could that person come around to becoming confident enough to be asking for what that person wants? Knowledge of self is the greatest knowledge of all, right? And you cannot make somebody want something. We all have to have our own desires. And I taught ballroom and Latin dance for 25 years, so I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> we, all have, we, all, we all have a hidden desire. It's imperative, at least for me, the best life possible I could ever live was to figure out what that was and go after it. So describe to us how you actually went after that. Did you have sort of daily affirmations or what, what was the process of, of that new venture? I um, I did everything actually, but it was never about the content. Okay. It's always about the emotion. And because I numbed out growing up basically by what was done to me, I knew I just have to learn how to feel here. So whatever it took to unthaw, that was my journey. And I just had to keep going deeper and deeper, not by choice, <laughs> because I just wasn't getting what I wanted. So my life has been very circular. How do I get what I want? What do I have to do? I got to feel more. I got to go deeper. I got to work harder. I got to feel more. I got to go deeper. I got to work harder. Just on and on and on. And uh, 
Uh, is there a limit to what we can desire? I mean, it's like, okay, you, you got your three wishes and that's it type of thing. Or is there like no limit to what you can desire if, through the law of attraction? What I have learned um, is that how we are taught what love is, again, is so religious based. But what people don't understand is that everybody maligns billionaires and calls them, you know, they're just, they're leeches, that they're, they're virus, they're this, they're that. What I learn from them, they have no fear. And because hmm. they have no fear, they're incredibly, unbelievably powerful. And they get virtually everything they want. That's the difference. Um location uh, the, the location where you are and all that does that affect how and when you could be getting what you want give you an example if uh, you're out in indonesia somewhere you want to find true love but you're looking for a girl that is back in canada how is it that because okay uh, let me try to put this uh, in another way the universe has no boundaries you can fall in love with someone who's in China, someone who's in India without knowing it. Is uh, how do you, um, you know, how do you develop what I just said? Again, it comes down to first having a desire. You've got to have that desire. Fundamentally, it's got to be, it's got to drive you. It's got to be obsessive. It's got to be everything you think about. And when there is no fear around it. You can be on the moon, it won't make any difference. Because we're talking about love is the most powerful frequency, without question. It is the highest vibration that there is. And it, depending how far you want to go, it just exists outside of time. It is that powerful. So you can be anywhere you want. And if you have all your ducks lined up in terms of your feeling and your belief, it will happen. And how, how is it that a person can discover that uh, I might be doing the law of attraction? What are the hints? What are the clues, you know, to actually uh, get a person thinking, hey, you know what? I've been practicing this without really knowing it. What are the uh, manifestations that will drive a person to, to illuminate a person? Put it that way. That's a very good question. The, um, again, the thing that has always driven me before I even knew it was I have to get to know who I am, knowledge of self. I must educate myself so that I know what I am feeling. That's really what it comes down to. We have to become more conscious if we're not getting what we want. And that's where it comes in, learning all that. It's like any other training. You want to be a hockey player, you train. You want to learn how to get your heart's desire? Well, you got to train your emotions. You got to figure out who you are and learn what that stuff feels like. Esther, can you share with us? You were telling me yesterday when we were having our chat uh, before the show, you were telling us that when you met your boyfriend, he stepped, uh, he put foot into your house. Something about the plans. Can you share that with us? Yes, that yes. I shared it earlier about the fact that he had. Um, had plans to build a home that was almost identical to my home so that there and then is, is some sort of indication of him putting out the energy there to and he now lives with me in that home that that's what he wanted um i put out that energy that i wanted love after a marriage that didn't work out and there he was at the gym and i mean these all these circumstances and in fact and i don't even know if this is part of law of attraction but our addresses were aligned and were parallel so i was 2565 and he was 2560 so like what are the odds and you know i am very scientifically based type of individual i'm not very religious i do believe i'm somewhat spiritual but that how do you explain that you know, the secret made sense to me. The secret was something that really struck a chord. The idea of the law of attraction, you put out positive energy, you put that out there. It's not even about positive energy, but something that you want, but don't put out the negative energy. And again, to learn how to deal with, with fear. And even in the last year and a half, that reversed for me where I became fearful because of what was happening in the world. And in fact, I got very ill, not from COVID, but through an ulcer from the fear 
of everything that was happening around me. So there again, it, it's very clearly laid out for me that when I go there, when I get fearful, everything falls apart. When I got out of that situation, when I found out everything was clear, I made the decision, that's it. I've always wanted to act. I've, I wanted to podcast as well. And it all happened. I met you. I, I met Jenny. I mean, things just started to explode. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm getting goosebumps talking about it. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a huge believer. So this is a, I'm so happy that we're talking about it today. I'm so happy to have Andrew here. And he's talking about his experience and how, you know, what his belief systems are now and how it helped him. Because, you know, he also started later in life, though, though I win, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a lot to be said about that. Yeah. So, the, yes, that that's what I was telling you about the other day that all that happened. And, oh, my gosh, there's no how could that happen? There's it's because we both put it out there. And that's how we were together. Andrew, uh, what are your uh, immediate plans? Like, uh <laughs> Without getting too personal, it, things going on with movies and all that. Uh, what are you attracting to yourself right now? Is it a big block a blockbuster from Hollywood? You want to be the bad guy? <laughs> <laughs> what is it you're attracting out there? Yeah, I like <laughs> deep, dark, ugly roles. That's what I'm attracting. <laughs> all right, typecasted now, are you? <laughs> hey, folks, you know what? This is unfortunate. This is the all the time we have for today. This has just been fantastic, Andrew B. Canadian actor, he's uh, the actor in the film uh, Mute, the short movie, uh, a Stephen King adaptation. Thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure. I really appreciate you having me on. And thank you to everybody for joining in. It's been such an amazing show. Uh, Esther, do you have any final words? I just want to say that, um, you know, Everyone who has come into my life in the last year, yourself, Jenny, and now Andrew, I, everything is there because I believe that I put it out there, that I wanted that to happen. I wanted, I found my tribe and I love them hard. Thank you so much, Esther. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We're going to be, uh, uh, next week, we're going to be tuning in at the same time, same place, same reason. Thank you. Goodbye. Uh, Andrew, stick around, please. We're going to have our meet and greet. Sounds good. Ciao. Bye-bye.